What's up guys? Welcome back to our channel. Um, today we are working on a 2015 Volkswagen Beetle and this happens to be the R line, R model. Apparently they have a Dune model and the R line and then I'm assuming there's a base model. Um, it's from my buddy's uh, daughter's first car. We're gonna build it. Craig, it looks like the Unabomber but you know, yeah, there he is. <laughs> he, said he, he said he wanted to help us out so He's over here to watch us, you know, moral perform and for moral support. Um, the car does not start. Don't know why. Well, probably because it got an accident, but it might have a fail safe somewhere. Um, we're going to tear it down today. Um, hey, what do we pay for this thing, Craig? What did you pay for this thing? 5600 5600 a couple hundred bucks in towing. So let's figure about 6G delivered. And we're hoping to have this thing done for about 10 grand. Bags are blown. One bag's blown. Seatbelts are deployed. Um, bunch of mechanical, the frame rails over a hair bit. Um, I've never repaired a bug before. We ended up buying a second one just in case. We can't fix this one. <laughs> um, but that one's a Dune model. Should be here hopefully tomorrow or Monday. So watch the tear down and um, let's see how let's see how bad the inside of this thing looks like. And it's the first time working on this car, so I don't know what to expect. Um, but Jesus Christ, it's just plastic after plastic after plastic. Oh, this is actual radiator support. Okay. So the radiator support on these cars is plastic. So this thing tastes like a tea. Some weird T T sockets, which sit on my yes. The most exciting part, Craig, is when you get this off, and you see like what's the actual damage to the car. Um, hey, Craig, hold that side. Hold on, I'm gonna unplug these. Uh... Can you unplug that? You push that little clip down in the middle. In the middle, we'll strip down the parts as we uh, as needed. You know what? I kind of want to try to keep as much of it as intact as possible. So I have an idea how. How it goes back together. But we have another car coming. Through. Looks like a lot of this is T. T series bolts. Which is I'm pretty happy with is a, a T25. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and get the uh, this metal bar off. Snap, snap. Okie dokie. So. Oh boy. Okay. Okay, there's some T30s on the side, T25s. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Let's go. What? Yeah, I see the horns. There's some weird looking brackets on those horns. Weird looking screws on the horns. I'll go that route. Okay. Put the screw back in here. This is a weird looking uh, clip. I don't know how it comes off. It screams in German at people. Hang on. Hold that right there, Craig. I want to bend. <laughs> Never mind. You got it. You got it. <laughs> it came out. Sun's out. Uh -huh. Oh. You know what's causing this mess is, uh, is we have these, uh, Airbag sensor is sitting here on the sides. Let's do this. I'm just, wow, hmm. not bad. No. All right, let me get the, let me see how the sensor comes up, comes apart. Looks like this gets pulled and then, okay, easy enough. there. Let's drop some hoses and see what uh, what comes out. There's one there. We got a main 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 connection down here. Come on. Okay, that's gonna be fun on that side. I'm glad the turbo's not anywhere near here. That's that's uh, some. Oh, well, there you go. The headlight just ended up in my hand. <laughs> uh, I think the headlight. Yeah, it's coming. I don't want to throw anything away because these got part numbers on there, mm -hmm. and I don't know if the if the Dune or the um, R R line has uh, different headlights. Because everybody's like, hey, how come headlights don't work? Because they all look the same. They might be just different. Yeah. Who knows? I'm pretty happy because alternator is not damaged. Um, got like a couple AC lines, which are. No big deal. Some strong metal. That's for sure.
These are the what? 245, both for the AC lines. Let's see. These, these are destroyed. Well, so is a condenser. You know what? Let's do this. That plug is my, it's gonna be my, yeah. How does that come off? I don't know yet. There, this is out of the way. somewhere. So up one goes. The big one ain't damaged, which is nice. The electrical's broken on it right there. Maybe, maybe not, but I wanna I wanna save the from getting any crap in it in case you can you know save it. So The turbo, these are the turbo pipes. One's down here. <clears throat> Look at that. This is the turbo intercooler. Holy cow, it's big. And that's the radiator. That's pretty neat. Oh, stupid. It this way, everything went that way. Transmission pan, not da a little dented, but not damaged, which is good. Which is real good. Loosen into this turbo feed line. Turbo lines are stuck on this thing. Lift it up. One side. Yeah. <laughs> One side. You didn't get dirty, Craig. It's all right. I don't need washing machines. The, there it goes. The, the cooler has got ribs on it, so it's doing a really good job of holding it together. For turbo leak, boost leak, that's perfect. Okay. Wow. This pipe's fine, that's fine. The plug is broken, but I mean, it's not, uh, it's not. Uh, pump's frozen. <coughs> Usually this is supposed to spin. I think it's frozen. The clutch is frozen, so we're gonna have to replace the pump. Oh, 
Ta -ta 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 -ta. Bring out your hair dryer. What? Bring out your hair dryer. What do you mean? Up. No, it's the 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 clutch. It doesn't look like it's in line. But then I mean, this. Well, this 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 is supposed to spin, but then again, it's a Volkswagen. I don't know. But usually, well, there's no damage to this, so I don't see why they would. We need a new motor mount for sure. You see the. Oh, this lived. Not much. You see the mount right here? How it snapped from here? Because this rail pushed over, it just snapped. It's not that bad actually. I thought I, I thought it'd be worse. Let's take off some headlights. Let's take this side off apart and see what this. See what this side looks like. That hood's gonna want to come down. You know what we should do? Probably a good idea to dis disconnect the the negative cable. I should have done that in the beginning. <laughs> I wonder if these things are tens or eights or what the hell are those? Oh! Saved by the the noise of the water. Here you go, Craig. Thanks, bro. Merry Christmas. Hey, thank you. <laughs> Well, Audi Volkswagen, all it's all it's all built by the same guys. Mm -hmm. This thing's tweaked. Look at that. It's got some weird bracket. It sits on the bottom of this thing. Which you wouldn't know. Not even a nine. John, what? What are you doing? What are you doing? How much watch? The, the, One the, million. The, get this guy on the. Get this guy on the. This is this is Alex. <laughs> no. This is Alex. Alex does all the electrical. Alex. Okay. Gonna, this is when I finish this car and it has issues. Call I'm calling you. <laughs> What's your channel? Send uh, me. A I'll send you the link to the channel. <laughs> what are you Where doing? Vova? Vova went to lunch. Alone? <laughs> I don't know. Call him. I don't have his number. Maybe he's in the bathroom taking a shit. Uh, Wait outside. Not quite. <laughs> I'm what? thinking your income. Yeah. After more than <laughs> you will work with car. <laughs> After. <laughs> right now, who cares? Maybe he's in the bathroom. Whoa! No. Nope. Not. <laughs> He knocks the Listen, <laughs> Alex, hold on. No, he's not in the bathroom. The door's, the door's open. Is his car here? Uh, are you make a movie for you and Vova? So you can watch it. His car's not here. He left. Oh, yeah. Oh, I know where he's at. George's. Okay. Hi, Alex. Um... Yeah, I have no idea what these bolts are over here for this lock. Oh, stupid. Look at that. It's a T30 from the back side. Come on, smart ass. Okay. The key is to remember where all this shit goes. <laughs> 
so we recorded it. You know? Those those screws have blue Teflon on them, so at least I know where those go. And then this guy should slide out. At least it's not damaged, Craig. Look at this. What is that? Hood latch? It's the hood latch. I'm gonna take these two screws out and they'll they'll come undone. Yeah, buddy. I think they're just more plastic than anything else. Huh? Sure, it's not a BMW. <laughs> you mean a BMW? You know what it stands for? Break my wallet. Bring my wallet. Oh, bring. Break my wallet. Bring my wallet. I had one of those. Same. You had. You had one of those, huh? Voila. Does this disconnect like a BMW? It does. Look at that. Like um three series was just to disconnect. That hood's about to fall on my head, huh? They had a union right here, like the regular BMWs did. crunched but look at that like the old school BMWs it had it has a union right here pop this cap open if it's anything like the old BMWs which it looks like it is look at that just like the old school yeah hold in case you get your noggin clipped yeah. So, like the old, like old school BMWs had the, the pull, that little union here, instead of trying to undo it all here, because it's so close quarters to get all the stuff in here. I think you have to put all the stuff in first, put the radio support on, then connect it over here. Mm. Typical German. Typical German stuff. Okay. Um, that's pretty much it for the teardown. Not that bad at all, actually. I thought it'd be worse. Take the fenders off? Um, yeah, I'm gonna take the fenders off. Um, this, I think what we wanna be doing is we'll hook in this rail and we'll pull this out to where it needs to be. We'll pull that one over as well. And then we'll, I'm gonna take all this off and there's gonna be measuring points on the towers to tram across these bolts. So square. so square with the rebar. Right. Yeah, as long as these as long as these guys are square, um, this side looks perfect. We'll probably end up ordering just this this piece. That looks like it disconnects right here, or just this piece where the headlight bucket everything sits into, and the support is just a plastic bolt-on. There's, I mean, I think the hardest part is going to be putting the cooling back together with in there with little. It's tricky. It's tied to. With little um, with little munchkin hands. Yeah, but. Um, bro, where were you this morning? You're late to work. Uh, it's, it's eight o'clock. It's already what ten thirty. <laughs> Man, you're late. Mike even beat you to work today. <laughs> he was. <laughs> it's like. Let's get this bottle out of the way. It's the little things. Actually, the bottle's not even bad. Nah, it lived, but the motor mount, look at that motor mount. It fried itself. Do you have to jack the loader up and get out? Um, probably, probably, um, but, Um, not too bad though. Try not to break this nipple. Aha. The more stuff I get out of the way now, 
the easier it will be later. You know what I mean? Jelly bean? Is that phrase trademarked? I hope not. If it is, we just used it. We may have to pay somebody royalties or something. Something in here. I think it's a float. Yeah, I'm not gonna take all this apart just yet. For the reason being is, um, I think what we'll do is we'll we're gonna leave all that there, pull the frame rail, so everything's all comes together, and then we'll go ahead and. Um, Merry Christmas. Oh my goodness, thank you. I've been looking for one of these. Have you? You want the part number off of it too? Uh, no. <laughs> I just don't understand these guys' clip methods. It's like clip, 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 clip. But you know what? First bug I'm working on, I can't complain just yet about anything. Well, A, because the owner is here. Um, <laughs> um, let's see. Well, uh, what do you know? They actually use the number 10s. Volf, Alex was looking for you. Alex coming? Alex came looking for you. We thought you were in the bathroom taking the shit, but you were not. Bathroom. You were not in the bathroom? No. I know we looked. <clears throat> <laughs> he went to George's. We said you went to George's, so he went to George's. You go to George's? Look at that. I'll tell you what I do like about the Volkswagen. Wherever it, wherever the frame is kinked, it's already got like a it, it doesn't have like a like a like a cutout for the crumple zones like usually they do. It's just a massive bow. So it'll bow back without destroying the rail. Which is pretty cool. And I just encountered a bunch of number 10s for the first time in my life. On the Volkswagen. Like, it's like a hodgepodge of nuts and bolts. God bless it. Like, why wouldn't you just make life easier for everybody? Imagine having to remember all this stuff. Like, who does that stuff? All right, let's see. Well, that bolt came off. Man, looks like we gotta take this off. Yeah. That was already crumpled. Well, you know what? I'm at least, I'm glad that these are used at least I'm glad they use 10s and not some star, star crap like BMW does. <laughs> Way easier to get a hold of. By far easier to get a hold of. Okay, so they got this stupid These are tens. I will show you guys how to take the fender off after I done took it off one time. It looks like there's a, oh, not that bad. Oh, I thought it'd be real bad. It's actually, if you open the door, there's one ten that goes from the inside, which, Craig, come open this door. Let me see if I can get in here without, without killing this door in the, Yeah, I can't get in here. That's not good. But I have a I have a secret weapon. It's called the number ten on the ratchet. 
But I'll show you guys what I'm doing once I've done once I've done did it. So it makes more sense because right now. Oh, there's a ton. There's two right here. Um, you know, we have a bunch of people at home. We'll be talking some smack. I get it. You know, you can't please everybody. Or what do you know? Look at that. Hold on. There's one, 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 one ten down there. Right here that I couldn't get with the, with the. Yeah. And then, and then, I'm assuming this piece, there's another 10 right here. We'll get it off the lift, we'll take it off then. But that's the 10 right here I couldn't get to, which we got to. So I'm pretty happy about that. Um, what's that? Yeah, there's, I'll, I'll leave, it, leave it all in so I know how, I know how it all goes back together. Yeah, thin it is, um, but not bad. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm more happy about the fact that the motor that just gets shoved into the firewall, which looks like everything back here is pretty clean, because um, it took the hit sideways like this, and I'm glad we bought it hit from that side, because if it was hit from this side, we'd probably destroyed all of this, which I'm pretty happy about. We didn't know when we first bought it, so. Um, well, yeah, but besides that, um, okay, now he's got to find some parts. Um, just, we could probably take this fender off too. It's almost off as, as it is. Let me just do that. Let's get this fender off. This one has a liner on it too still. Um, I'm going to take this off eventually. Just not right now, but cool part is I have a photographic memory. About ninety percent of it works, so Or is that a 10? This thing is part, is this thing part of the fender or is it bolted onto the fender? There it is. Oh. So this bolts, oh, it's broken. And then this bolts to, what the hell? What the hell? We got some cool toys in here. Something's stuck in here. Oh, that was the 10 from the bottom of that thing. It had a bunch of glue on it. Okay, so this will, oh, in theory it sounded good. Oh, I see, said the blind man. This is a, this is a smog pump right here. It's held on by a 12, I think. It's a drain tube. No, of course not. It's not a 12. It has to be a 13 because that's what they love doing is putting 13s on this thing. And I don't have a 13. Voila. 13 it is. 
You know, the only number we're missing is a, is an 11. If we can get 11 in here and a 15, we'll have the whole entire tool, tool set in here. We could save this, so don't throw this away. It's a big Lego. And this liner is toast, so I'm not going to take my sweet time pulling it off. Well, I probably should because it needs it. almost built like the Lamborghini. You know what, let me get the bottom bolts out before, before I drop that last bolt. Then, then I'm gonna be like, Craig, can you hold this bolt? <laughs> Put some blue tape on this. These screws, I don't know. I, I mean, that screws. I'll forget where they go. So, yeah, somewhere over there. There's blue tape somewhere. Almost there, bro. Almost. Shit, man. Nah, it's probably parked under a tree. That's what it hit. Oh. Ah, so that's where the other foam piece goes. I was wondering where the <laughs> where that foam came from. This one? I'm assuming it goes here somewhere. On this side though. So foams are up. Do we ever put the trunk on this thing? Probably should just throw throw all this miscellaneous little stuff in there. Um, this is destroyed too. There's a couple more screws in there. Battery? Um. No, it's the stupid things in there. Probably a good idea to take this this whole box out too. I think I'm gonna have I'm gonna have Volvo. We'll have we'll, we'll, we'll go ahead and pull this straight before we pull this off. I think we're done for for, for now. Wolf, is this good? Or need more? Filter, it's in the frame. Yeah, because it's stuck yeah. in there. But it's not. No, it doesn't start. No, it doesn't start. Mm. I I don't know why. Mike, you know why it doesn't start? Yeah. It's a Volkswagen, right? You work yeah. on a bunch of Volkswagens. Why doesn't it start? It will eventually. I know it will eventually, but why doesn't it start now? I don't know. <laughs>
it doesn't start uh, take the filter too. Like I can't, it's stuck. Oh, okay. It's, it's yeah, it's so stuck. I need to... Are the keys yeah. in there? Uh, I hope so. I'm not going to start it. No, it doesn't start. It turns, right? It turns. No, it doesn't turn. Oh. If it turns, it doesn't start. I think these Volkswagens have that shut off thing. Yeah, I think so too. With the gas. What is this? Yeah, it's okay. Hello? My first time. Uh, open the bagajnik. I opened the trunk. That's what I needed. <laughs> I'll put all these parts in the car. And this is, this is, this is, this is daily episode of of shit that can go wrong in the shop. Um, all right. All right. One or the other. Um, so we ended up bidding on two Beatles to get one. We ended up getting both. So, throw it in there, throw it in there. Um, so, I think what we're going to do is we'll end up fixing both Beatles. Yeah, that's in there, it's from the bottom, the bottom. Mm -hmm. That's today's uh, episode of tearing down the Volkswagen Beetle. We got another one coming. Um, I'm going to start ordering parts for it as soon as we're done with that Mustang. This will go on the frame rack next. Volvo's going to be the one fixing it, or at least straightening the frame. If we can get Corey to come videotape it, Corey can come videotape it. Um, we'll keep you guys up to date on the build, how much it costs, and uh, we'll go from there. Subscribe to our channel. Uh, we have a new website. It's called ahparts.com. Talk to David and Paul if you want. They can help you out. Um, subscribe below. Leave some comments. If you got parts for this car, you want to sell it to us, inbox us. I'd love to have some parts. That might help us out. Even the same color, even better. Uh, look forward to some more videos, and thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one. Okay.